Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elio. How are you? Well, tired. I am, I am really tired. <laughs> Why? I have been walking every day. Walking? It's because I have, I have, yes, I was following a, a female horse. A, how do you say yegua? A, a female horse. Yegua, let me see here. And what happened with the with the yewa? What happened with her? Yes, he's in the the age that he need to reproduce reproduction, and I am, I was taking care of her. I take I take her because I love that that um, that horse. Uh, and he go away looking for horses. Mm -hmm. And he find a a, a a a a horse that is a, a garbage that is is not the the horse that I want to that I want to give her to 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 have uh, uh, to have horses little horses mm -hmm. and I think that the 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 horse that are on the street that is a uh, como vagos como eh, eh, uh, preñó la la tuvo intimate with her mm -hmm. and I think that I am going to <laughs> I am going to be I I am I am going to lose the opportunity to get a a, a, a good horse a good new horse. Oh, okay. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> and, and I was and I was uh, following her on the street, and I have a motorcycle here, mm -hmm. and, and I have an, an accident because I was following the 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 horse, and uh, I make a, a bad maneuver, and I and I have an accident with the motorcycle. But and that thanks God. Today? Uh, it's a it's a motorcycle motorcycle is a, a moto yes mm -hmm. i have an accident a small accident he drew he draw out he he fell he fell down on the street on the on the land mm -hmm. and and i couldn't sustain the the motorcycle i almost have a a injury in my leg but since god i was using a a pair of shoes that uh, are bigger, like a boot. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. A boot that I work on on the camp in the rural area, and I it protects to me uh, yeah. a lot. Yeah. And what happened today? Yes, today, yes. And you got injured? Just uh, uh some. Some raspones in my hand, in, in my hand, yes, but it's, it's not, it's not uh, too much, it's a, it's, it's a superficial. Okay. But my bone or my, my skin is good. Yes. Okay. And the motorcycle oh. is in good shape too. <laughs> okay, you have to be careful because you had a lot of accidents there, right? Yes, yes. It because I, I I have that motorcycle because I this place is big here and sometimes I need to to go in in, in, in it on it and to visit the, the people that is working mm -hmm. in in a part and I in another part and I need to come back to, to the house to the el casco de la de la finca mm -hmm. and I need to, I go to feed the, the fish. I, then I I go to buy my food sometimes because I, it, it, this place is a, is a, is a rural, rural area. Mm -hmm. There is not more houses near from me. And uh, if I want to buy something, I, I need to travel I had, uh, one kilometer to find the, the principal play that that can buy everything, food, uh, 
and because I I cook by myself here. Mm -hmm. I am I am cooker too. I am I am a machiner. Uh, uh, how can I say my chef? I am my 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 own chef mm -hmm. because I I prepare my food too. Okay, I understand. That's that's kind of difficult because since it is a rural area, right? You have yes. to travel long distances. Yeah, I understand. I understand that. Very good, Eliu. Uh, Jewa is mayor. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah. my mayor. Yes. Your mayor. So your mayor got pregnant, and you will take yes. care of the little horses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was so upset with this situation, but well, the the laborer people told me that happened to me with my my daughter. I was <laughs> I, 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 I need I want somebody that was better, and he she she get pregnant from a an an Indian and and and. Uh, un ratón, un, ra un hombre puro ratón. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at, at, at least it was with your horse, not with your daughter, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Thank God, right. Thank God. Yes, yes. Okay, Thank very God. good. <laughs> so right now we're going to start the last class for this course. Let's see. Unfortunately, I was not able to upload yesterday's class because something happened to my computer. I'm still having some issues, technical issues, it seems, with my with this computer because I've never used it to, to teach, right? But I I probably I will find it and probably I will upload it. But I'm right now I'm I'm recording this one, so I think that it won't be any problem. Let's see, Jose, Ana Maria, thank you for being here. Rodrigo, Jose Isaias, Jose Francisco, Nady Ivis, and Diego Anthony. Okay, perfect. So we're going to finish right now um, with a relative clauses, right? We're going to have a quiz right now. This is just um, a reminder, right? It says non-defined relative clauses give extra non-essential information. I think that we already studied this. Uh, we remember, or actually we reviewed this yesterday, right? About the commas and everything. So you should be able to take this quiz. Do you have any other question about defining clauses or non-defining relative clauses? No, right? Everything's clear. Ready to practice. Okay. The non-defining is just the additional information, right? And the defining is the important information. Exactly. The, the okay. defining is important information, no commas, right? No commas. And now defining additional information with the commas. Exactly. Exactly. So we are going to check right now. Okay. We are going to check. Let me see here. I already have here the quiz. I didn't know if you will be able to, to do it, but it's really easy, right? If you have a computer, or if you have a telephone, you will be able to use it, right? This is the quiz. So I will send, um, I think a code to the chat and you will be able to, to use it, okay? Let me see here. Okay, right now it's loading. Remember it's just about relative clauses, right? So. I will send you right now the quiz, the, the link to the chat. Le voy a enviar el link al chat. Let me see here. Where is the chat? It's here. Okay, let me see something happen here. Okay, this is the web page, the one that I will send you right now. And this is the code. One, two, seven, four, one, eight. That is the code, right? So you need to go to that page, web page, joinmyquiz.com. 
and you just need to enter the, um, the code, you see? Now I'm already logged in, so that's why it will appear my name there. You can enter your name also if you enter the code and that's it. If you have any problems, let me know, okay? Okay, let me see, somebody already logged in. It's Ana Maria, okay, very good. We're going to wait for the rest. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes just to check if everybody's able to, to log in, right? This is just a quiz, just to test your knowledge about uh, defining or non-defining relative clauses. So, somebody else? Questions? Tratando de ingresar, pero cuando le doy click, no me lo abre. What do you see? Uh, join my join quiz. Join my account. quiz. To, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And if you if you write it in this in this space here. Okay. I'll you can it. write it uh -huh, in the when you write that. Okay. The ad address Jose is already there. Thank you, Jose. Uh -huh. Yes, you can show, let, let me see if I can show you in another way. <clears throat> so you can uh, write join my quiz dot com and you will see this uh, page, right? And then you will see this, right? Enter a join code. And you will need to enter the join code, which is one two seven four one eight, and you enter it here. Exactly here. So let's see. We have four people already: Jose Portillo, Rosa Maria Perez, Jose, and Ana Maria Correas. The Colorado. <laughs> Anthony. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. Are you, were you able to join? Not yet. Not yet, but you're trying, right? Yes. Yeah, if you want to, let me see here. If you want to, you can share your screen, right? If you have problems. Okay. So I will stop sharing it just in case that you need some help. Let me see here. Okay, share your screen and let me see if, if I can see your screen so you can participate. Is somebody else joined already? Okay, you can open another tab. Abra otra pestaña. Ponga joinmyquiz.com. Mm -hmm. Enter. Very good. We are going to wait. Check if it is loading. I think it is not loading. I think that's the problem. Can you refresh it? La puede refrescar con la flechita que está ahí? No, con la de abajo, la que está a la par del candadito. O a la par de la lupa. Ajá, esa. Yes, it's not loading for some reason. Y si, ne, si le da al candadito, ¿qué le pasa? Dice, la conexión está cifrada. Debería confiar con esto. Ah, está cifrada, por eso es. Debería confiar en este sitio. Ajá, dele clic ahí. Mm, parece que tiene como un firewall como un, no sé si no se sé, tiene alguna protección a computadora o algo, eso es lo que tal vez le hace que no le cargue.
Sí, porque si regresa a joinmyquiz.com no le carga, ¿verdad? ¿Y si copia el mensaje y lo pega? Ajá, y si copia el mensaje y lo pega, no, no pasa nada. Uh... No sé, hoy, no sé si esta pantalla... No, no es esa. No es esa. No. Quise copiarlo. Del chat, no lo puedo copiar del chat. No lo pude copiar del chat. Sí, eh, solo... I... Ajá. In my case, what I did was I went to Google and I wrote... Is, uh, what the name of this? <laughs> The name of this. Uh, what the name of this? Está usando Google Chrome, el you? Yeah, join a quiz. Sí. I wrote join my quiz. Okay, join my quiz. And then I enter the code. Enter it, okay. Try one more time, let's see what happens. Okay. okay. Use Chrome, aha, uh -huh. use Chrome. Google Chrome, ajá, y ponga joinmyquiz.com, ajá, my quiz, ajá, punto com, enter, y le da a la primera parte, ajá, esa opción, ajá, very good, uh -huh, very good, ahora ponga ahí el código, ajá, exactly, very good, Únete, ajá. Empezar. Enter name. No, enter, ponga el, el U en introduce tu nombre. El U empezar, ajá. Very good, Elia. Very good. Perfect. So that's what we are going to do in the next one. No problem. That's what we are going to do in the next one. El próximo también vamos a hacer eso. Okay. Now you okay. can uh, stop sharing your screen. And now I'm going to start with the quiz, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Now we are going to begin. Marcela, Nady, very good. Perfect. Now we are nine people. Let's start then. The question is which word goes in the space. Taylor has a new car. It's twice as big as his old one. You need to choose which one, right? Donde aparecen las palabras? Who, that, and which. Tiene que aparecer en, en el Chrome que usted abrió. Ok. Oh, hasta ahora me aparece. Ok. Pero ya pasó, vea. Mire, lo marco y no, y no, y no se ve. Que okay, tiene que estar en el Chrome, en la en el Chrome que usted eh, escogió. Exacto. Ok, let's see. Which, very good, Taylor has a new car, comma, which is twice as big as his old one. Very good. That is possible also. That is possible. Very good. Next one. Let's see next one. The mountain we climbed yesterday was the highest in Mexico. Which word? Let's see. 
which, where, what, or that. Hurry up, you have 20 seconds. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, time's up. Let's see the next one. Exactly which or that, right? The mountain which we climb or the mountain that we climb, right? Where we climb uh, can be possible. Yes, I will agree with that, but it's better which or that, right? Let's see next one. Which sentence is correct? We have the new stadium that can hold over 100,000 people opened last week. The new stadium opened last week, which can hold over 100,000 people, or the new stadium which can hold over 100,000 people opened last week. Which one is the correct one? You have 30 seconds. 30 segundos. <laughs> Hurry up, please. I know it's kind of difficult, but just trust your instinct, right? Okay, hurry up. Hurry up, please. Okay, let's see. Very good. The new stadium, which can hold over 100,000 uh, 100, people, opened last week. Perfect, next one. In which sentence can you delete who? Yeah, sometimes we can delete who, right? The man who I saw on the bus is my neighbor. The man who lives next to me is nearly 80. The man who cleans my windows has gone into hospitals. Just read the sentence without who, and then if it makes sense, then you can delete who, right? And if it doesn't make sense, you cannot delete it. That's that's the key, right? If it makes sense, you can delete it. Okay, let's see. Very good, it's the first one. The man I saw on the bus is my neighbor. Very good, the man I saw. Sometimes we can delete or omit uh, these relative pro pronouns. Very good. Next one. Which sentence uses commas correctly? Now we are going to check the commas, right? It says, my sister, comma, who you met last year, comma, is coming to visit. My sister, who you met last year, comma, is coming to visit, or my sister, comma, who you met last year, is coming to visit. 
which one is correct with the commas? Okay, I will give you a little bit more time. Okay, hurry up. Okay, let's see. My sister, right? My sister, comma, who you met last year, comma, is coming to visit. That is a non-defining relative clause. Perfect. Next one. In which sentence can you not delete that? Sometimes we cannot delete it, right? Let's see. I've lost the magazine that I was reading. A photocopier is a machine that makes copies of pages. The film that we saw yesterday was brilliant. The same, right? If it makes sense without that, then you can delete it. But if it doesn't make sense without that, you cannot, right? Okay, we are going to give you 10 more sec 10 more seconds. 10 seconds more. 10 segundos más. Okay, hurry up. Very good. Okay, let's see. Very good, Ana Maria. Let's see. A photocopier is a machine that makes copies of pages. Very good. Next question. We walked as far as the waterfall. Complete the sentence. Or in this case, you need to complete the sentence with which or what or that or where right we walked as far as the waterfall space we stopped for a picnic well i don't know if you can write it but if it is possible for you to write it write it i will give you some time for you to write you just need to write the pronoun right Okay, we have two. Okay. I will give you some time for you to answer if you want to. If you don't know, it's okay, right? If you don't know, it's okay, no problem. Okay. Teacher, I have a problem with my computer. I can't read it. Your uh, yes, I'm reading. I'm, uh, I'm reading right now your message. Yes, sorry for that. Okay, let's see right now. What was the response? Let's see. Where? Very good. Where? We walked as far as the waterfall where we stopped for a picnic. Very good. We are going to do three more because uh, we have 30 minutes already. Okay, no problem. Because um, the quiz has 18, 18 uh, questions, right? Or do you want to finish it? It is up to you. 
¿Quieren terminar el quiz con las 18 preguntas? Mira, a mí me gustaría terminarlo, pero cuando no me da la pantalla de las de las respuestas, o sea, tengo que estar. No. You, just, you just check and write the answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem, Leo. So we are going to do three more. Vamos a hacer tres más, okay? And then we are going to check uh, your answers. It says, what cannot go in the space? And let's see the full questions. Julie looked after the injured bird space she found in the garden. Who, she, no word is needed here. What cannot go in the space? Which relative pronoun cannot be there? Okay, I will give you two, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, okay. Okay, the word that cannot be in that sentence is who, right? Who, why? Because it's talking about a bird and a bird is not a person, right? It's an animal. So we use that or uh, which for animals. Very good. Two more, two more. It says rewrite these sentences. Okay, we are going to skip this one because it's it's going to take a long a long time. We're going to skip this one. I will give you two more. Next question. What can't you write in the space? The same, right? Last week I bought a watch. Space has half price. That, no worries needed. Here, which? Last week I bought a watch was half price. Okay, let's see if everybody wrote everything. Okay, the best option, let's see. No word is needed here, right? We can write uh, exactly that, or we can write which exactly. So uh, we need a word there. And the last one, let's see the last one, la última. No, this one is too long because you need to rewrite everything. The last one, let's see. Complete the space. We walked as far as the waterfall. It's over 40 meters high. So you just need to ride 
a, a pronoun, right? It can be which, that, or where. We walked as far as the waterfall. Let's see. I will give you 10 minutes. I'm sorry, 10 seconds, right? Not 10 minutes, sorry. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good, Jose, Rodrigo, and Maria, very good. And the word is which, right? Which. We walked as far as the waterfall, which is over 40 meters high. Where is over 40 meters high? Um, no, because it's not talking about uh, uh, like a, a specific place, right? It's talking about the waterfall. It's not talking about like the, where the waterfall is, but it's talking about as far as the waterfall. So it's, that's why it's which. Very good. So very good. You did it very good. Now we're going to end right now this quiz. How did you do? You had many of the words correct or incorrect? You think that you're prepared for a real quiz? You don't have more questions about uh, relative or uh, defining relative clauses or non-defining relative clauses? It was fun. It was boring. Tell me. <laughs> was fun. Was I fun. really enjoyed. <laughs> you really enjoyed. Yes, you were. Yes. You earned a lot of points. You you earned a lot of points. Very good. Now, we had a homework. I didn't know if somebody did the homework about talking about their jobs or something like that, because actually I wanted to give some time for you to speak about that, but I didn't know if you did the, the homework or not. Anybody? No? The homework was about talking about your job, right? If you like it, if you don't like it, something like that. But if nobody did it, it's okay, right? It was just an extra practice that we had. So in this case, we were able to Completed, but I had an I, I had a plan B actually. I had a plan B. Let's see here. I wrote a, a short paragraph about my work. You wrote a short oh per, okay, perfect. Let me write it here. Okay, Jose Francisco. Let me share something else here. Because yesterday we um checked like a reading right about the work and what is important about a job. So what did you write about your job? Well, in my case, I am an accountant mm -hmm. and I work as an auditor. I really like what I do. And I do audit procedures in order to check if all the papers are okay. Mm -hmm. We do this with the purpose of avoid audit risk, such as loss of money, Inventory losses, accounts receivable, recovery, and procedures to avoid fraud. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't finished issuing a financial report with the results of our investigation. Okay, very good. And so you like what you do. Is this like, will you change your job? as an accountant for another kind of job? No, <laughs> no, you, in my you, case, no. You really like what I you do? I will stay here, yes. Okay, perfect. That's interesting because many people do it because uh, the money or because they don't find another job. But in your case, uh, you said that you like it, right? Very good, very good, perfect. Yes, and, and mm -hmm. as well, I am in the place where I, where when I was a student, mm -hmm. I wish to work for. So you also enjoy to, to study, to, to be an accountant? Yes. Okay, very good. 
Very good. Perfect. Very good. Actually, your your the writing and also the pronunciation was really good. Uh, just be careful with procedures, right? That were procedures and financial. Finance, financial. That is that that's the word. That's how you pronounce it. But very good. Perfect. Okay. Somebody else? Well, in my case, mm -hmm. I like my job in a 50%. <laughs> I don't know. I don't be honest. I don't I don't like to take calls all the day, mm -hmm. but I like the money that I make mm -hmm. <laughs> and the the I don't know. I will uh, be honest, I don't like work, but I do it because I need to make money. And maybe I enjoy being with my uh, colleagues and mm -hmm. talk with them and some activities that we have inside the, the, the company. Just that, but be honest, I don't really enjoy enjoy taking calls okay but you need to because of the money right I, but are you good that's in your job correct. are you good in your job are you yes okay that's important yes, because even though you don't you don't probably it's not your favorite activity during the day if you're good probably you have like that um incentive also right you have that that feeling that at least i'm doing a good job i know that i can do it and actually, it's just something that is is going to be uh, probably in the future, right? It's going to to end, right? It's just like a season, right? That you are going to be doing this. Probably you're not going to do it yes. for, for the rest of your life, right? So very good. Uh, yes. And be honest, uh -huh. I like it because I don't have to take work to my home. Mm -hmm. You know, when the the last call is taken so just that i can go to my house after mm -hmm. that and and that's it <laughs> exactly that's something important right because you finish you have your free time and the company has to respect that something's different with teachers because we need to take exams to our houses we need to prepare a class we need to do a lot of things in our houses and that that time is not compensated right it's not paid but actually, uh, that is a vocation. That's why you have to to look what you like. And if you like it, you will do it, I guess. Very good. Actually, your English is really good, Anna Maria. Uh, hopefully, you have learned a lot or some words in this, in this level. Uh, be careful with um, gerunds and infinitives, right? Uh, some words, or actually some verbs, they follow gerunds or they follow infinitives. One of those verbs is like, I like, right? Every time that, that we say I like, we can use after a gerund or we can use an infinitive. I can say I like working here or I like to work here. So um, we love, hate, like. After those verbs, we use infinitives or gerunds. But very good. You have very good pronunciation. And I'm sure you do a very good job in, in phone calls. Very good. Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Somebody else? Nobody else wants to share their experiences about, your, about their jobs? Don't want they, or you don't want to talk about them? Because I know that you work the whole day and <laughs> talking about your job here. Probably it's not a, a lot of fun, but actually it's just to, to check, right? But if you don't have anything, um, I have a plan B also. No problem. Since uh, yesterday we were reading this imp the importance of doing what you love, also I have another reading just to check your pronunciation. And if we still have time, we are going to learn some words about uh, or jobs or, or actually professions, right? Um, if we still have time, but we are going to try to complete this. It's kind of easy, right? And it says uh, reading, complete the text with who, that, which, where, or whose, right? 
Remember that we use these uh, words with different things, right? A place, an object, an animal, right? So it says here, we ask students to tell us about their favorite things in life. This week, Anna, a student from Brazil, tells us about hers. So these are the favorite things in her life, right? And it says at the beginning, I have to say that my favorite place in the world is the village where I was born. So we are going to read uh, some paragraphs. For example, let's see, Eliu, can you read the next sentence, please? And complete it with who, that, which, where, or whose. Okay. I, I traveled all over the world, but it is still the play. Mm -hmm. The place? Which I love the most. Very good, which I love the most or that I love the most. Very good. Let's see, Jose Francisco, read the next sentence and complete it, please. A song. A song that, that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. It's Lady Red by Chris the Birds. For two reasons. First, it was the color of the dress, which I was wearing, and <laughs> which I was, wow, I was wearing the night. I met my husband. Very Second. good, very good, perfect. Which I was wearing or that I was wearing, very good. Second, where it said second? Rosa Maria, can you read uh, where it said second? A where? Here it says second, it was the uh. song. Second, it was the song where the DJ player as we dance. Okay, second, it was the song where the DJ played as we dance. Is that correct? We can use that, right? Or which, right? Because it's talking about an object, a, a song, right? That the DJ played as we dance. Okay, let's see uh, the next one wh the, uh, where it says the number. Anna Maria, can you read uh, the next one, the number? Yes, teacher, sorry. Okay. No um, let me check. Sorry, can you please tell me what is the number of the next uh, sentence I was writing you? In private bed, can you please uh, tell me? Sorry. Oh, no problem. It's, it's five. The number. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Then the number that oh, let me check. The number that I choose is the number nine. Very good. The number that I chose is the number nine. Oh, very sorry. Yes, no problem. Let's see, Jancy, can you read the next one where it says, my grandmother? My grandmother who used to live with, with us the, when I was little. Very good, my grandmother who, very good because it's a person, right? Used to live with us when I was little always asked me to get her a lottery ticket with his num with this number. I think that's why I like it so much. Let's see. Mercy, can you read the next one? For a photo. For a photo, I choose a black and white photo of my parents. Uh which I had for about 20 years. Very good, which I had for about 20 years or that I had for about 20 years, very good. Let's see, next one is, um, Jose Isaias, can you read the next one, please? Okay, teacher, um, every time, right? Yes, every time. Every time I look at it, 
I can see two people, two happy people in the early twenties who lives were about to change forever. Who lives? Let me see. I can see two happy people in their early twenties whose whose lives whose lives right whose lives. Whose life? Yes, whose life were uh, about to change forever. Very good. Why? Well, because my mom was pregnant with me in the photo. Very good. Let's see. Ana Maria, I need to leave the class. See you tomorrow. Very good. Let's see. Claudia Maria. Let's see. Nady, can you read... Um, where it says my English teacher at school. My English teacher at school was the woman is inspired to me to love language. Very good. Uh, my English teacher at school was the woman. And what? how do you complete the sentence? Who inspired, who inspired me who, to love language. Very good who inspired me to love languages very good inspired inspired exactly so i chose her to be my favorite person animals no question about it let's see diego can you read where it says the animals please diego rodrigo are you there Rodrigo Daniel Melendez, Mayan. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. Uh, read the, the next one where it says animals, no questions about it. The next one, number 10. Mm, animals, no question about it. The animals that I like most are dogs. Very good. The animals that I like the most or which I like the most are dogs. Very good. We have two more. Let's see. Jose Francisco, can you read number 11, please? Yes. The store where I could, where I could spend all day will be one selling perfumes and cosmetics. Very good. The store where I could spend all day will be one selling perfumes and cosmetics. And let's see the, the last one. Who wants to read the last part? Volunteer. Quien quiere leer la última parte? One volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Jose, go ahead, please. Uh, finally, an object which is very special to me is my engagement right. It's correct. Is correct, exactly. Finally, an object which is very special to me is my engagement ring because it used to belong to my husband's grandmother. It's beautiful, very good. So do you have any questions about this reading? Preguntas acerca de la lectura or any word that you don't know? What is the meaning engagement? Engagement. 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 Yes, engagement is like, for example, in this case, an engagement ring is when you are going to get married, right? So it's a ring. Es un anillo de? Compromiso. Compromiso, exactly. So that is an engagement ring. It's a compromiso, right? Engagement. Another word? Any other? Check, check the, the reading, look for words or pronunciation, right? If you don't know any, any word or if you think that this word is kind of difficult, we can repeat it, right? So for example, inspire, right? Inspired, engagement, uh, what else? Chose. Perfumes or per something like that. Yeah, perfumes is, is correct. Perfumes and cosmetics, very good. Any other? 
No more questions? Okay. Very good. I think that we still have a five, five minutes, okay? So in these five minutes, I want you to tell me um, if you have any suggestions for the next uh, levels, right? Because probably you are going to experience some changes or probably you are going to, you are going to help other people to have like more fun in classes. Since you are, um, I know that you're working the whole day and you're taking time from your from your day that, or to take these classes. So I don't know if you can share some of your um, thoughts or opinions. You would like to have more readings, more listenings, more videos, more games, more quizzes, or something that you didn't like about this level, you can tell me right now in this moment. So I'm going to let them know and probably we are going to inform the next teachers. So we are going to, to change that. I don't know if anybody can tell me your experience or something like that, something that you like, something that you don't like. You can say it in Spanish if you want to also, right? Because that will be helpful. You got, you got the question, right? <laughs> Entendieron la pregunta? Yes, right? Or no? Yes. 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 I, think, I, okay. I think that the, 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 the way that you did was perfect. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I hope that the next level uh, be the same or, or something like, the, like, like this course. Yes, actually, that's that's what we're trying to do, right? Like to include more activities and also homework. I know that this is not like a, a formal class in which you are going to take tests, but actually you're testing yourselves with your English, right? So thank you, Liu, for your comment. Uh, anybody else? Alguien más? Teacher, el horario de las nueve a las diez ya no estaría habilitado para estos módulos. Yes, actually, yeah, I have, uh, I've had uh, times, right, or uh, from nine to ten, I have classes for advanced levels. If that would be better for you, yes, because I uh, sometimes I go out for my work very late. Okay, more availability from nine to ten. Very good. Please. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yes, Thank we are you. going to let them know about that. Something else? Algo más? Something that you like, something that you don't like, something that you would like to practice more? Nothing? Todo estuvo bien? Lo pueden decir en español también, if you want to, right? Algo que les haya gustado, que no les haya gustado del curso. El manual de este nivel, este, lo descargamos, ¿verdad? Y lo usamos para repasar. El, el, hay un manual para cada nivel, ¿verdad? Sí, un libro que... de texto. Uh -huh. Sí, hay un libro. Hay un libro. Eh, if you want to, well, si, si lo tienen, si tienen el link, pueden descargarlo. ¿Esta presentación ya se las compartí o todavía no? El chat. Ajá, en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Recuerdan ustedes si ya se las he compartido? No. no. Esta parece que no. Ah, ok. So I will do it right now. Lo voy a hacer ahorita porque si no después I will forget it. So let me see. Yes, it is true. I haven't shared this. Ok. Anyone with link. Viewer. Copy link. Okay. And at this moment, I will share it with you. Le voy, a, le voy a compartir esto para que ustedes tengan también esa información. Okay, perfect. Anything else? Uh, another comment? Otro, otro, o algún otro comentario? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, en mi caso, le agradezco mucho. Creo que de los teacher más comprensivos que he tenido durante todo el curso uh -huh. y pues 
Sí, quizá una pequeña sugerencia de mi parte. ¿no? Uh -huh. Este, en mi caso a mí me cuesta poner más atención cuando las presentaciones son de mucha letra. Uh -huh. A mí me dificulta eso. Pero, pero es mi problema. ¿no? Entonces, <ríe> pero lo contrario, este, todo bien para mí. Sí, ok, that's, that's ok, no problem. Uh, a veces muchos estudiantes tienen ese problema, esa, y es bueno que me lo digan porque esto es como worksheet, ¿verdad? Es diferente verlo en una pantalla que verlo en un libro, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. very good, very good suggestions. I will take into account that. Ok, any other thing? ¿Algo más? Ok, muy bien. So... Bueno, agra agradecerle por todo el esfuerzo que ha hecho usted. <ríe> <ríe> Muchas gracias. Ok, eh... thank you also for your effort, porque ustedes también se esforzaron estando aquí, estando llenando el pl la plataforma y tratando de hacer las tareas. So, thank you also, right? And very good. Hopefully, we are, we are going to see you in the future. We are going to take into account your suggestions. Vamos a tomar en cuenta lo que nos dijeron. Y espero verlos pronto. Okay, keep uh, working on your English and uh, don't give up. Keep practicing. Okay. Okay, I will see you soon. Okay. Have a nice okay. evening. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye. Thank Bye you, everybody. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.